Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Norman's Cook Along. Um, you'll be pleased to know that I'm actually not Norman Musa. I'm uh, Norman is one of my dear friends. Um, I'm Harry Padden, Regional Health and Wellbeing Manager for NHS uh, East of England Region. And when Emma Wakelin approached me to ask uh, if I knew of someone who could support um, this fabulous day, um, I was um, so delighted to be able to um, ask my friend Norman to come and join and celebrate the um, Nursing and Midwifery Day celebrations. So um, without further ado, I'm going to ask Norman to come along and to introduce himself. Hi, Norman. Hello, Harry. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, supporting our course today. I know a lot of my colleagues yeah. across uh, Norfolk and Waverley mm -hmm. will be so happy to be joining the session today. So. Shall we tell? Shall we tell the viewers a little bit more about the cook along and what we're going to be doing? Yeah, and, sure. Um, I mean, and um, what they'll be cooking. Well, well first, um, well, let's. Um, we're going to see how many people have actually joined in because we want to get as interactive as we can. So that means that uh, they have to type up all the comments and everything because, like uh, any other shows that we've done in the past, uh, we always ask people uh, where they're watching from. So I guess it, everyone's going to be from UK, right? So because this is a <laughs> private event. So because like what we've done in the past, I mean, we had uh, people watching from all around the world. So, but again, so we want to know which part of England or uh, UK they're watching from, right? So Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> so see, maybe, because, uh, maybe we can hmm. chat for a bit. We, we might, might need to get yeah. a few more people, um, hopefully on board um, over the next couple yeah. of minutes. So we can sort of have a little chat in the meantime and go through the recipe and and talk more sure. about uh, the cook along. So if you are joining yeah. us um, on, on YouTube, please remember to sign in and um, please remember to uh, leave, leave a comment and tell us who you are, uh, which part mm -hmm. of Norfolk and Waverley you're, you're watching us from and, um, mm. and, and connect with uh, Norman for the cook along today. Okay, right, we're gonna check, just double check. Uh, perhaps if we want to check with Emma, see if everyone can go on uh, the link that we give, uh, I give them before on YouTube because uh, the number looks quite low there. So I just want to double check that uh, we're not cooking alone today. <laughs> so or I'm not teaching like teaching just one person or something. So because the number is quite low there. Let's have a look. Let me just say, okay. Because uh, what we can, uh, what we can see the comments are coming from all the, uh, the viewers. Yeah, so all the participants. So let's just double check. I think I think it's all streaming. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so Nor Norman, tell us yeah, a little bit more about it. yourself. Okay. Right. So I was born in Penang, Malaysia. So for anyone who's been to Malaysia before, they must have loved uh, three things. Okay. Well, it's not three um, things that they will discover. But this is something that Harry, I think you would agree with this. Uh, first, food. Okay, second places, all these like beautiful islands and historical sites and all that. And third one, people, the Malaysians. Okay, because uh, we are ever so friendly, we always look after our tourists. So yeah, I was born in Penang, Malaysia, and then I moved to the UK uh, when I was 19. So that was back in 1994 uh, to further my study in a quantity surveying. So I got a degree and worked in construction for 10 years, and then I gave up to become a chef. And my first restaurant was in Manchester. So yeah, <clears throat> so that's what happened. And then um, I started uh, becoming a chef uh, actually from zero. So I didn't do any culinary course before. So I just woke up one day and said, I want to be a chef. So <laughs> that was it. And then, yeah, so um, perhaps and, you want and, to tell the and, viewers like uh, how, how you, I actually we met. Uh? I was, I was going to say, yes, let's do that. So <laughs> I, I met Norman um, back in 2015. And this was mm. at a, um, a Malaysian tourism event in Trafalgar Square in London. And oh. I was um, attending the event and uh, was uh, would, had joined on to one of Norman's uh, cook-along sessions. And I think I nearly burnt the tent down. <laughs> yeah, and luckily it was the last session. <laughs> that as much as I like you, I don't trust you in my kitchen. So, no. <laughs> so this is this is this is where you do the cooking and, I, yeah. and i'm on the other side of the kitchen so i get to i get to enjoy all yeah. the wonderful food that you make <laughs> <laughs> great so, so we have uh, more people just uh, join in so which is good we can see the number of people just uh, 
uh, watching. So again, uh, don't be so shy to type up uh, just to say hello to us, uh, to me and Harry. Yeah. So because you want to get it as interactive as we can. Yeah. So we need all your comments. Absolutely. Okay. And if you are watching mm. us, send the link to your friends yeah. and tell them to come <clears throat> watch us as well. So uh, yeah. we 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 will. Um, it, it'd be nice to have some uh, more of your more of our colleagues uh, joining us. Uh, so yeah. Norman, you're so, based now in yeah. the Netherlands, aren't you? That's true. Um, so I moved here uh, almost uh, well more than two years ago because uh, I was invited to run a cooking uh, so uh, a restaurant, and then uh, since then I've been living here, been going back and forth to the UK to London, especially to uh, run uh, cookery classes because I run master classes, and I think the one near yours is um, Braxted Cookery School. So yes. uh, yeah, so, so you're actually the one who introduced me to that. Okay. So, <laughs> so if anyone's watching and they want to to spend a bit more time in Norman and, and having a having some uh, proper time to learn about Malaysian food, uh, do do make sure you look up uh, the Braxted School offer. It's on Norman's website, which I'm sure we'll put on um, towards the end of the uh, live show today. Sure. Yeah. So they can, they can always find out more about me on my website uh, www.normanusa.com. So simple as that. So there's all information about the cookery uh, classes and also my uh, events, like uh, I do online events a lot now. So uh, yeah, so they can find out more about the uh, all the details that they need, okay? Great, so um, what are we cooking for our, okay. for our NHS colleagues today? So what, what, right. what delights are in store for us? Okay, so we are cooking this uh, very simple uh, chicken curry and I was like how uh, busy uh, all the key workers are. And then, so that's why I'm introducing this a very simple dish. If you have all the ingredients prepped, you can cook in just like a 10, 15 minutes, simple as that. So the portions that I have here is enough for four people. But again, it depends. Uh, well, you can always just cook like, uh, you know, uh, the portions that I recommended here, and then you can uh, keep it. So normally, if you can freeze, uh, put it in the fridge, so it last about three days, but you can always freeze uh, the whole curry. That's what you can do. Yeah, and, and and curry so versatile, isn't it? So you can pretty much yes. chuck anything in. So you know, if you are, yeah. if you don't, you know, if you're vegetarian or vegan, there's so many other mm. things that you can substitute, such as uh, you know, more vegetables or tofu or it is. Um, corn, yeah. etc. Um, but it's, so, it's great because I think it's such a it's such an international di dish as well. So wherever in the mm. wherever you are in the world, there is some sort of a curry in most um, di most cuisines. That's why today I hope like uh, you know like a few other people like uh, will be cooking this uh, using uh, tofu or make it as vegan because this the dish I actually learned from um, Maureen uh, Maureen Duke so uh, so she's uh, over 80 years old and then she taught me this is more like a, of the Burmese influence curry so that's why it's very simple there's no um, coconut milk for example so and you can see all the ingredients are very simple so. If you don't want to use chicken, you can always use other type of uh, meat if you want to. But again, with beef, it's going to take slightly longer for that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So um, are we ready I, to cook? I think we're ready to cook. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, first, let me run through all the ingredients. Okay. So let me put this camera, the close-up camera, so you can see it better. Okay, so if Sandy can put it on the full screen. So, okay, good. So I have all the ingredients here. So if you refer to my um, uh, ebook, so you can see that, <coughs> uh, so the prep that you need to do before we start cooking. So I have here the uh, shallots. Now I did say in the prep list, uh, it's actually uh, onion. So it's not much different between shallot and onion. If you don't have shallot, you can always just uh, replace with onion. Shallot, um, one, the restaurant is not going to uh, like to use it because it costs a lot more money. It's more expensive. But um, <clears throat> again, you can just replace with onion. Yeah. So shallots here, and then we have garlic, onion chop, and also ginger. And then I have here for the garnishing, coriander, and also chili slices, if you're using that. Okay, so and here I have a mixture of ground mixed spices. So start with the coriander, ground coriander, and then cumin, uh, turmeric, and I did recommend to use the uh, paprika, ground paprika. But again, if you want to make it spicy, you can make uh, yeah, so a uh, uh, chili, so ground chili. Okay, so I have so uh, here a teaspoon of uh, ground chili and also a teaspoon of uh, paprika. Yeah, so 
that's what we're gonna uh, mix with water later. Now I have a chicken, okay, so that's been cut uh, into small pieces. Three types of vegetables, so I've got, got potato here, carrot, fine bean, yeah. So for seasoning, we're gonna use a fish sauce and also salt. And again, um, with sugar, it's op optional, yeah, so you can um, skip, you don't have to use the sugar. And there you go, so and then have the olive oil. So that's um, what we're gonna begin with, okay, to start cooking. So these are all the ingredients, right? So I'm gonna put the camera back here. So you can see the walk better, right? So first, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna mix all these ground mixed spices with 100 ml of water. So grab a bowl, right? So just put all these mixed spices, the ground spices. So, uh, no, Norman, um, yeah. Emma's just yeah. asked, um, what's your Twitter handle so she can tag you and uh, us on uh, Twitter? It's a Chef Norma Musa. Okay, em Emma, uh, if you're yeah. listening, I think she's listening and watching. Yeah. It's at Chef Norman Musa. And Emma, I think you've got my Twitter handle as well. So if you, if you yeah. follow me, you'll see Norman's Twitter handle on there as well. Yeah. Okay, so I have here the... Um, Grammy spices with 100 ml of water. So mix this together. The reason why we're doing this because uh, we don't want to burn the uh, the spices, okay? So especially on a high heat. So if you put straight into the wok or saucepan, it's gonna burn all the spices. So that's why it's better for you to add a bit of water to this mixture. Right, so once you've done this, now we can turn on the heat. I'm just, uh, just to begin with, I'm going to put on full heat. Okay. So now we can pour the, the oil. So it's about two tablespoons. So get the oil hot enough, and then after that, we're going to start with the three ingredients. Shallot, garlic, and ginger. Okay? That's what we're going to do. Okay, so if you're just ch joining us, uh, we've got a couple more people sort of, uh, just, just joined us now. I think people are just okay. finishing off work, so um, I think that's yeah. probably why uh, we've, we've had a few uh, late starters. And I know I know some colleagues just enjoyed a mindfulness session too, so they may, may be a bit too chilled out for the cook-along, <laughs> but you can, you can watch it instead. <laughs> it's uh, just as entertaining. So yeah. spices have been mixed with water, and you've got the wok on. Uh, you've got the oil in, yeah. and mm -hmm. now we're the just about in. to go with the um, with the ginger, garlic, and chili. No, uh, uh, shallot, not chili. Shallot, Chili's sorry. for garnishing. <laughs> Unless you want it spicy, you can put chilies in first. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wait until the oil is hot enough, and then after that we can um, uh, put all these three, three ingredients and start cooking them. Uh, again, I'm sure like after this. Uh, if people watching like the recorded version, they can always just cook along and then okay, they have the recipes anyway. So, and then they can just uh, try this at home. Yeah. So. I just noticed that my heat and my fire isn't on. So I'm gonna wait for a bit because uh, <laughs> the gas was hot. This gonna be really remind me of like uh, what happened in that Trafalgar Square. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. We don't want any we don't want any accidents. So uh, yes. Okay, here we go. That's all now. <laughs> right, walk is on and the heat is turned up. Walk is on. No wonder the, the oil wasn't hot enough. Okay, right. So we're gonna do this. So we're gonna wait for a bit, like uh, maybe about 30 seconds or so. You can you can tell when that when the oil is ready. So when it starts sizzling, you can see the uh, the shallot starts sizzling. Okay, so it's very important to get the oil hot enough, and then you can just fry all these three ingredients because you're gonna smell the fragrant the all these uh, three combinations of those ingredients. Yeah, you can see that it's not doing now. So if your oil is ready, to you start cooking. Yeah, so that's going in. And again, if you have like a hand stick blender in future, you don't have to finally chop all these ingredients. You can blitz all this in together, yeah? So you can mix them all uh, together. So shallot, garlic, and ginger. And then you can just uh, cook it by the way after the oil is quite enough. 
So we're going to cook this for uh, a couple of minutes, yeah? And then uh, after that, we're going to add in the, the spices. So you should have added water, about 100 ml. So this is, again, this is a very simple version of uh, curry, okay? So there's a lot more uh, curry dishes, actually, I have in my cookbook. It's so, it's so quick and easy. Once you know how to make a good curry, it's really quick. And the nice thing about curry is that you can make quite a big quantity of it and then portion mm. it out and then use it in the week. So, you know, yeah. my colleagues are really busy, you know, working, you know, you don't have to sort of cook every day. You can portion this out and actually stick it in your freezer or fridge or whatever and, and yeah. heat it and, and, and eat then, it later on in the week. The beauty about this curry, you can eat it not just with rice, you can eat it with noodles or you can have it with roti, yeah, so with some bread. If you, yeah, I prefer sometimes to go with bread. Normally, like uh, for Malaysians, if you have any leftover uh, curry, so in the morning we have for breakfast, we dip it with uh, bread slices. That's, uh, that's what we did before. Oh, wow. Okay, so now ready for the garlic spices. I wish I had um, the ability to smell that because I, I think that was kind of amazing. <laughs> it's okay, I can deliver it to you. <laughs> I will take, I'll probably get that first yeah. next week before. Yes, fly, fly, fly it over from the Netherlands. <laughs> So, so Norman, you do, as well as the cookery shows, we've got the Travel Cookie series as well, haven't we? That, that, yes, um, we do. That, that uh, we do together. So shall we tell the viewers yeah. a little bit more around that? Yes, uh, this Travel Cook Eat, uh, so it's actually a virtual uh, travel because now everyone can't travel. So we, um, we like a previous show that we did for Penang and also for, uh, Malacca. So we took the viewers to the uh, Malacca and Penang virtually by meeting up with all the travel hosts and the restaurant and hotelier and then uh, yeah so all the attractions that we showcase them uh, so this two hour show so it's packed with a uh, cooking demo as well or not cooking demo cook along so people can cook along with me so uh, the next the next show that we're gonna have is on uh, 31st of July so we're taking the viewers to Kuala Lumpur so imagine that for two hours and then you can I, I, I can't wait yeah. so uh, if you follow Norman on social media, you'll get updates of the next travel uh, cook eat show. And um, we will be flying our guests to Kuala Lumpur virtually, of course, and yep. meeting lots of um, uh, lots of lots of people based out there who can tell us about where it's good to stay, good places to eat. Um, and anyone that signs up will receive a free travel guide that's got hand selected uh, attractions by Norman and um, copies of recipes as well. And obviously, Norman will be doing a cook along during that session. Right. So, next batch of ingredients before I add in the meat, okay, to the chicken, uh, I'm gonna put the seasoning first. So, this is a half teaspoon of salt. Not too much because we have a fish sauce because it's gonna be quite salty. So, and then a half teaspoon of sugar. You don't have to add sugar. You can skip that. And then a tablespoon of fish sauce. So keep a good stuff. Now ready for our meat. So chicken. So if you're using tofu, so you can add tofu in. So now I'm going to cook this chicken. So when I say seal, so that means like it's half cooked. And you can see like a cook outside uh, the chicken pieces, but it's not fully cooked, okay? And so, so for this chicken, I'm using chicken uh, chicken thigh, okay? So you can use chicken breast as well if you want to. But for me, chicken thigh has got more flavor, so that's why 
Are you still trying to do this? That actually looks really healthy as well. So I'm following a low carb diet. So this is uh, this is great. So I can um, definitely include this in my um, in in my meal planning for the week. Yeah, so I mean, like you can make this as a vegetarian, as so you can um, replace a fish sauce with a soy sauce, okay? And then um, for the chicken, you can always replace it with uh, cauliflower, florets. So you can do that, yeah? So, Norman, you're just sealing the chicken at this stage, aren't you? Yeah, it is, yeah. Because after this, I'm going to add in the vegetables. And I'm going to finish off with a 200 ml of water. Oh, I bet that smells so amazing. That's how good it looks. In fact, I'm going to give out to my neighbors after this. So, but again, I'm going to show the viewers like how to present it on the plate, make it nice and pretty. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do it towards the end. Once the chicken is cooked. Okay, now ready for our vegetables. So the potatoes been boiled. Okay, so you can buy the cooked potatoes and then carrots been cut into wedges and also the beans been cut into like a four inches long. So just just to confirm, those potatoes have already have already been pre-cooked. Yes. So otherwise it's gonna take about 10-15 minutes for you to yeah. cook like a raw potato. So now I'm adding 200 ml of water. What you're going to notice is like once the uh, chicken is fully cooked, I mean the chicken is going to release more juice, right? So, and then you're going to see more uh, gravy or sauce uh, that you're going to have. And if you think it's a bit too dry, you can always just add a bit more water yeah so does that i take it that gravy then thickens up slightly it does yeah especially when potatoes are fully cooked right so it's kind of a it, it's kind of thicken up the sauce a bit yeah so there you go as simple as that okay so now we're just going to wait until the chicken pieces are cooked and that's it the curry is ready how about that Fantastic. I, I know viewers uh, at home will be um, at, just just so amazed how quick that was to do. You know, once you've got all your ingredients prepped and once you've got things, um, you know, ready chopped and ready to go, it's just so easy. And you can prep a lot of the you can prep a lot of the ingredients in advance, like your vegetables, get your chicken curds, yeah. um, yeah. you know, get, get your tofu and all that sort of stuff. And all your spices and things can um, be pre-measured as well, so it's just literally ready to go as as soon as you as soon as you walk in from work or something. In, yeah, in terms of the spot, sorry, Norman, hmm. go on. I think for a family, like it's nice to cook this uh, with children. I mean, they will love uh, cooking something like this, especially like uh, with the spices. They can kind of mix together the spices, uh, get all yeah. the ingredients ready. As well. I think so. If you if, and, and for viewers who are watching now, and for anyone viewing later. Get, get, get the family involved as well. It's a great way to spend a bit of family time in the kitchen. Yeah. Right, I have here rice. So this is basmati rice. I've already cooked um, before. So, and then after this, I'm going to uh, serve this curry with rice. Yeah. Right. Um, so Emma's, Emma's saying, I wish I'd prepped in advance. <laughs> Panic. Oh. <laughs> uh, Emma, do you want us to slow, us, to slow down or do you want us to repeat anything? Yeah, we or? can wait. We can wait. Yeah, yeah we, we can, can wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, Emma, let us know which stage of, of, of the cooking you're at. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, and for the ganshi, I have the, the coriander. Okay, so again, I just want to make uh, my food look pretty. So you can always just use like a spring onion if you want to, but coriander works well uh, in the curry. Yeah? And chili slices, just to bring up your colour. <laughs> she, she says, I think it's too late. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> Um, so Norman, can you tell us, tell us a little bit about mm. rice? Because I know that yeah. um, when, you know, when you go to a supermarket, there's just so many brands and different types of rice. What, what would yeah. you suggest with curries? Well, 
um, for for Thai curries, for Malaysian curries, uh, it's always use uh, the best is to use jasmine rice, okay, because it's got much. But again, uh, for any for some people like who likes like a more kind of a, a bit dry, not too kind of soft, basmati rice is always good. But again, I always uh, like to use basmati rice for like a biryani, for example. And uh, basmati rice is always perfect. Like if you have any leftover, if you want to make a uh, egg fried rice, yeah, so it's good as well for you to uh, cook with the basmati rice. But um, I've used a brown rice before, and of course, I mean, like I mentioned to you many times, uh, cauliflower rice. Okay, so that's what yes. I had last night. So, yes, if um, if you are if you are watching if you are watching uh, what you eat and you are approaching the low carb approach, uh, particularly for me, so I've switched from rice to cauliflower rice because it's better for my um, my blood glucose, yeah. um, and I actually find the taste. Um, you, you get used to you get used to the difference, and I don't miss rice at all now. But cauliflower yeah. rice is a really good alternative. And you were saying, Norman, that you could have this dish with um, noodles and with um, yeah. Asian breads as well. So either with uh, roti or, or, yeah. or different types of um, breads. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, if anyone wants to try with noodles, uh, so I've noticed, like, supermarket in the, in the UK, they always have, like, a ready-packed uh, noodles, like a roti uh, poop noodles. So you can just use that. I mean, again, it's cheaper. If you yeah, don't have time to... Kind of prepare yourself you can just uh, grab the, the noodles from that packet and just have it with curry so but curry you have to cook it fresh so that's something that you have to do and also like uh, if anyone like uh, after they put it uh, too much uh, chili uh, ground chili so they can always uh, turn it down with uh, a bit of cream well i would suggest uh, put cream but coconut milk or perhaps the best yeah so make it nice and creamy as well Nice. Emma's saying it's all in now. Hashtag pray for Emma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well done, Emma. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, well done, gonna, Emma. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to post on the social media, don't forget to tag me, okay? So you can see now, like, uh, the juice uh, coming out from chicken. Yeah. You can see, like, it's kind of watery. So that's why I only uh, put 200 ml of water to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, it's you don't, like don't my curry still running. Yeah. You don't need a lot of water, do you? I was quite surprised no. because when 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 you are cooking that, I guess a lot of water comes out, um, a lot of juice comes out of the chicken, and also the vegetables as well as they cook. Yes. So let me try to do the close up before. Uh, I know it's like a probably it's not going to oh, steam wow. up. Oh, it's that looks so good. Wait. Very nice. Try not to drop off my phone in the walk anyway. So. No, yeah, yeah, watch your mobile phone <laughs> or your camera. What's, no, no, what's, your, it's scary. what's your signature dish, Norman? What's your speciality? Do you, what should we tell uh, the viewers? Uh, well, I, it keeps changing. It keeps changing. So uh, my signature, well, again, I would say um, the one that I actually... Um, submitted to Jamie Oliver's magazine. It was a rundown with Wellington. So, and then it was featured on uh, MasterChef Malaysia as well. So when I was like, uh, I was uh, participating in the show. Yeah, so, uh, so that kind of my signature dish because um, Jamie Oliver's team asked me like, uh, if I'm gonna cook uh, for the queen, uh, for the Commonwealth uh, cel celebration, what would I cook for her? So I said, oh, what about, you know, make it like a rundown with Wellington. Oh, so, wow. I mean, it, it takes about like a three hours just to prepare that. Yeah. Oh, that's, so that's that's something that, that sounds uh, really good. A, a real nice yeah. fusion concept, you know, you've got the rendang and, and you've got yeah. this, the beef Wellington concept as well. Yeah. I don't think uh, God Rums is going to be happy with me on that. <laughs> <before. laughs> and and, and Norm, Norman, you've cooked along with John Trod and Chef Tom Curry yes. as well, and you've been on Sunday Kitchen with them. Um, I think it was Simon mm -hmm. Rimmer, wasn't it? Simon Rimmer and Tim Lovejoy. Uh, do they still have it? Uh, the Sunday I think, Brunch. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think it's called Sunday Brunch now. Yeah. Well, what I'm doing, well, I'm working on my next cookbook, and hopefully it's going to be out uh, in August next year. And my aim is to get on Saturday Kitchen because oh. uh, I cooked with Matt Tubbard before. Uh, Again and again, I met uh, your favorite James Martin. 
<laughs> so the only person I haven't met yet is Nigella Lawson. So uh, <laughs> yeah, so I've met uh, Jamie Oliver before, Mary Berry and all that. So but not uh, Nigella Lawson. So one day maybe because apparently she loves Malaysian food. Nigella loves Malaysian food. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that that'd be good. So. Um... Hopefully we'll see you on the screens on Saturday Saturday morning yeah. uh, kitchen very soon. Hopefully, right. I'm gonna uh, I'm lowering the heat now, so I'm gonna simmer it for like a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes because it looks like the chicken's uh, cooked. You can tell uh, by if you're not gonna taste it or cook it because I'm still plastic. Uh, because you can see the kind of a texture, yeah. So it kind of a, if it's still soft, that means it's not cooked yet. So that's why I recommend it like to, cook, uh, to cut into small pieces because mm. it takes a uh, yeah, it's gonna uh, cook really quickly. Okay. So while waiting for that, I'm gonna prepare my uh, presentation bowl. I'll so, serve so my so dish. is the heat on simmer now, Norman? Is it sort of gently yes. just simmering? Yes, yeah. It's yeah. gently simmering. Uh, you want to make sure that yeah that the chicken pieces are fully cooked okay so let's just transfer the camera here so you can see my chopping board and then i'm going to show you how to present it okay how's emma doing then is she okay uh, i think, I think emma's music? okay uh, emma how are you doing send us a message because like you can do this by folder because it's so easy it's like all the ingredients going in like Da, 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 and that's it <laughs> it's ready yeah well yeah the, the way you cook you just put it put it all in really quickly <laughs> <laughs> right so so i'm just gonna use this uh glass okay so i'm just gonna create like a mold but again if you're gonna uh, put uh rice in it the best is to kind of uh, moist the glass or just run with a bit of water because uh, when you put it on the plate on the bowl so it'll come off easily So if I'm gonna serve it now, so you can always just uh, do this later. But you can watch me doing this. So I, I feel this is uh, Chef Norman's top tips coming up now. So you, did, so did you put uh, did you put a little bit of water in that glass before you put the rice in? Yeah, just just a bit of water because uh, you don't want the rice to stick to the glass. Okay. I I, I never knew that they they did that that way actually because it always looks really good. It's like uh, if you want to cut a cake, you always like uh, uh, what do you call it? It's like uh, soak the, the knife in cold, uh, so in hot water, so to the heat. Um, that's another tip actually. If you want to cut a cake or cut a pudding or something like that. So now I'm pressing this to compact the rice. Just going to wipe the. See, it's not coming off. Not enough water then. Oh, hang on. It's coming out now. It's coming out. It's coming out now. Yes. Oh, Yay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just going to put. Um, and on top here so the rice is a bit dry because again it's basmati yeah. rice but to be used like a uh, jasmine okay so it's uh, some people call it sticky rice oh no sticky rice is like a soft one so that's the rice ready that looks stunning um, uh, um, emma smell. says she's okay the sauce isn't quite as thick but smells great okay Good. Um, Emma, what you need to do just before you serve it, just check with the seasoning so you've got enough salt. Okay, so uh, you go. so that's my, you can see that's thickened up now. Oh, that looks good. So Emma, you might need to make sure you, you, you cook it for slightly longer maybe if it's not as thick. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off the heat. So, 
So you want a bit of everything. You want chicken. So you see like uh, the way I position my uh, rice is more towards on the side. Okay, so you have enough room to put the uh, chicken, this chicken curry. Right, Harry, how hungry are you? Really hungry. And um, it's yeah, really hungry. unfair because you're currently in the Netherlands. And I'm, I'm here in sunny Hearts, Essex. <laughs> Well, next time, if we're going to have the same session, we're going to cook uh, in your kitchen, then, okay? We so, are, yes, yes. Well, we, you're, hope, gonna, you're going to fly back later this year, aren't you? Well, next week. I'm flying Ooh. back next week, so, yeah. Co yeah co COVID permitting. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing a COVID test on Monday, so I'm not allowed to um, go out anymore. To, right, because, of, because you're hungry, I'm going to put another few more. Uh, chicken pieces and sauce. That looks so good. Let's see it. Okay. Let's try the other bit. And, and you know no fingerprints. Huh? No fingerprints. I, I was no going to say, I think, I think this would taste just as good, if not better, even the next day. Oh, it is indeed. Yeah. So let me just tidy up. And Take some nice shot of this curry. So there you go. A very, very simple nice. curry with rice, or you can have it with noodles. Oh, that looks so lovely. Really, uh, very art, 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 artistic as well. You, you're really good at food styling. Well, again, I'm not quite happy with my rice, but again, that will do. <laughs> as long as it's like kind of a nice and like a like a towel. So and then the oh, that the looks awesome. Okay. That looks really good. So if so you are you watching, go. if you're watching live now, now that was uh, Chef Norman's easy chicken and veg curry. Yeah. If you are watching this recorded, um, uh, you have just seen Norman cook a well, wonderful dish and and the beauty about watching this pre-recorded is that you can then rewind and, and catch up on and and see uh recaps on some of those steps as well so um you've got the benefit of doing that right okay so Sandy can you put me on the full screen again please so you can see me and you can uh, remove the the kitchen camera So if you oh, are watching, um, please make sure that you uh, take take some pictures and uh, tag Norman on social media. He's he's on Facebook, he's on Instagram, and he's on Twitter. Uh, send us your pictures; it'd be really good uh, to see uh, your efforts. That looks really good, yeah. Norman. Great. So I hope um, everyone's going to try this. Well, if you if you're just watching today, so I hope you're going to try this because it's very simple curry. And now I have like a plenty uh, left over, so I'm gonna give away so <laughs> to my <laughs> to my neighbors after this, so they just have to cook rice, or maybe I can lucky. give away the rice as well. Yeah, Le lucky neighbors. That's all I can say. Yeah, the guy that who lived downstairs is actually British, and he, he said he loved curry. So curry, yeah. So I, I didn't ask like which part of our UK he's from anyway. <laughs> as soon as I heard the accent, I was like, ah, you're British, so you must like curry then. We've had another message on. Um, we had another message from one of our viewers. They said they will be trying this. So, yes, uh, do do give it a go. Um, so you can you can re -record, re rewind this and uh, watch it all over again and um, and cook at your leisure. Um, for yeah. anyone else that's viewing now, um, if if you've got a quick question, you can ask Norman a very quick question on uh, um, the YouTube. So, uh, jot down your question and ask him live if you'd like to. Um, yeah. In, in terms of just a question from me then Norman in terms of spices and things most most of them you can get in the supermarket now can't you yeah I mean like uh, the basic uh, that you should have in your kitchen cupboard is always like a ground coriander ground chili or paprika a uh, cumin yeah so panel is a you know like, uh, sometimes people like have it in there and then also turmeric as well so that's those are basic uh, kind of uh, spices that you should have actually so it's not just salt and pepper that's what we recommend anyway. Yeah. Brilliant. 
thank you um emma saying um, emma saying thank you norman and Welcome. she said can you tag tag norman and uh, and and me if you can so I'll, I'll try and do that later on on twitter sure um yeah so wow this is 40 minutes already so that's exactly how uh, we that is... <laughs> <laughs> so i think that that's it now isn't it so um yeah so again like uh, i'm sure like uh, many of uh, um of the nhf staff that could be watching the recorded version so i uh, hope like uh, if you do try this at home and then tag me because i'm very active on the social media on instagram on facebook and also twitter twitter i'm a big fan but i always like i uh, reply to any messages and all that okay so let's do that brilliant thank you so much chef norman thank you for giving up your time as well to our no problem our, um, nhs yeah. colleagues um, and to celebrate the nursing and midwifery um day today uh, really appreciate you giving up some time for us and for showing or um, showing us how to cook such a wonderful and healthy and nutritious and a very quick and simple dish too yes indeed so are we going to say goodbye now we are going to say goodbye so, now. But, yeah thanks anyway <laughs> and thanks emma for having me so cooking a lot uh yeah so um and i hope uh again there'll be future opportunities and thanks anyway for all the key workers for looking after uh well been working so hard in the last uh yeah, for such a long time anyway. So hopefully it's going to be over soon. Yeah. Hopefully. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.